Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to Train Sim World 4. Now this is going to be the last video I'm going to be making on this computer. Because I've just received the last piece that is required to actually start building my brand new computer. And the reason why I'm telling you all this is because I'm going to be building my brand new computer on a Saturday. So there might not be a live stream this weekend uh, because I will not have a computer to stream with uh, because on Saturday I'm building the new one. So I thought I'd just let you guys know that there might not be a live stream this weekend. So just just thought I'd uh, let you guys know because like, you know, I'm nice like that. It's good to keep your audience updated, Mr. Oliver. Yes, it is. So we are back on the training center and we are doing another unstoppable run. Hey, it's good to do another unstoppable episode. So uh, what are we going to try and stop today? Well, as always, it's tradition for me to actually have the Flying Scotsman as my uh, as my personal vehicle, as it's tradition. And today, we are going to try and stop this. A Class 66. Game might be a little bit loud. I might just turn you down just, just a little bit. There you go. So, yeah, I'm going to try and stop the Class 66 with the Flying Scotsman because both of these engines, uh, if, if I can get it out, there you go, have knuckle couplers. Uh, let me just head over to the tender. Oh, it's, it's already up. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, uh, so it'll be much more easier to hook up and try and stop this thing. Oh, and by the way, in my last video, I did say that this computer is dying. I have managed to tinker with it a little bit, so I can actually probably get one more video out of this computer before saying goodbye to it. But anyway, what are you waiting for? Have you subscribed yet? Because you haven't, I think you should, because this is what we do on the LazyJet YouTube channel. Click subscribe. Have you done it? Yeah? Click, click subscribe. Do it now. Right, let's get this started. Uh, I don't know if uh, a Class 66 can run on its own. I've never tried this before, but um, oh, <laughs> it's a little bit temperamental. So, master key uh, in, put you in forward, brakes uh, off. Now, the Class 66 has got some very weird brakes, but we're just going to hold down the release. There we go. Do a two of the horn. There we go. Good. Sounding good. Uh, uh, trains in forward. Now, again, I don't know if this thing is going to run by itself, but we're just going to see. Uh, have max throttle. And is it going to go? Oh, I think it's wheel slipping. Is it going to go, though? Let me try and uh, see. Yeah, it's definitely wheel slipping. Oh, no, it's going. It's going. Oh, that is uh, is slipping a little bit. Let's see if we try and uh, can I try and close that door. Come on, close the door. Yes, I've done it. Uh, so now I guess we have to wait for this to gain some speed But actually I need to get to the Scotsman, so I'm just gonna try and get past it. Ooh, there we go <laughs> I wasn't gonna wait uh, Forever for the train to go past. I need to get into the Scotsman. We need to get her ready Let's get on board the lovely Scotsman and get into the lovely cab. Why am I talking like that? All right fire on uh, Dampers we want both dampers on uh, forward, release the brakes, large injector and small injector on. Both brakes are off. Good. Oh, and we need to put the lamps on. I always forget the lamps, but there you go. Uh, right, so we're going to speedy up B. Although, in fairness, the Class 66 isn't actually going that fast at the moment. But we're, we're going to wait until it actually picks up a bit of speed. So I lean my head out the window. Looking gorgeous, Scotsman. Looking lovely in the sun. I do love the uh, the mountains uh, in the background. I mean, look at the detail on those mountains. They look absolutely amazing. Oh, and already we're starting to catch up. Good. Although, I've got to be honest, the Class 66s, they're not actually fast. They're more built for heavy hauling. But nevertheless, a Class 66 is very strong. So, will Scotsman be strong enough to actually stop it? That is what we're going to find out. 
and I might need a shave. My beard has gotten a little bit too big, and it's a moustache as well. Like, I keep eating it by a mistake. I, I definitely need a shave. Yes, you do. All right, let's bring the reversal down to 46%. Oh, and there's the class 66 already. Ah, let me just uh, say hello to it. All right, mate. It's not. Oh, yeah, that's, that thing's definitely not going that fast. Um. So try and uh, apply the loco brake just a little bit. See if that will slow me down just a smidge. Yeah, that looks fine. Although it's not enough, the uh, 66 is still going a little bit slow, but we'll um, we'll slow down for a little bit. Although that reminds me, I need to switch the points, don't I? Bosh! There we go. So I'm all ready to uh, flick the points. And uh, stupidly, I forgot to put the headlights on the class 66. Oh no! Oh well, it's not the end of the world. How fast is the 66 actually going? Because I'm only doing like 50 kilometers per hour. Let's even try and speed up just a little bit. Okay, doing 60 kilometers per hour. 61, 62, 63. Looks like it's going about 63 ish kilometers per hour, but I believe it is speeding up. I mean, I don't want to get this over and done with so soon because, like, you know, I've only been recording for about. 10 minutes so I don't want this video to be over too quickly because then I've only got like a very short video and we don't want that a little bit of lag try and speed up a little bit more we need we, de we definitely need to get in front of it though don't we because I've already set the points you see so I'll probably leave it at 80 kilometers per hour and see if um see if the 66 will speed up but though I don't have much hope for it but you know, it's a 66. They're not built for speed as I said before and what is going on with my scroller? My scroller is slightly broken. Mm. Everything's breaking for me right now. Everything I have just breaks. Anyway, doing about 80 kilometers per hour. How is the 66 doing? Uh, it is falling behind a little bit, but not by much. I think it is gaining speed, but not as much as I was hoping for. But I need to be cautious because we are coming up to the switch point and we don't want the 66 to uh, smash into the side of our tender now. Don't do, do, do don't we? No, do, do we? Do we? Don't we? I don't know, I forgot what I, was gonna, what I was saying. It would be nice if we had a Freightliner Class 66 as a default. I mean, I do like the EWS livery, but it would be nice if it was a Freightliner green. I do like the Freightliner green. Right, I uh, need to speed up a little bit because now we're switching tracks. Looking good there, Scotsman. Now we're on the same line as the 66. So, if we link speed quickly, how fast is that 66 going? Is it speeding up? Hmm, let's have a look on the mini-map. No, it's slowing, uh, it's, it's falling behind a little bit, which means we might need to slow down. So, apply our loco brake. Let's probably put it to 88, 87, 86, 85-ish kilometers per hour. I think that'll be enough. Let's have a look on the mini-map. Would that be enough? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Gotta be honest, this isn't the fastest unstoppable video I've ever done. But hey-ho. It is what it is. Just hope that we don't have to do this in the tunnel. In fact, uh, that's a good that's a good point. Uh, let's speed up a little bit so I don't actually do this in the tunnel. Because um, last time I tried to do it in the tunnel, uh, everything went wrong. Right, so there's the tunnel. A uh, couple of meters or yards inside. And then uh, we'll be free. There you go. There's the end already. And I've got to be honest, it's not actually a bad looking tunnel. It's actually quite good looking. It kind of reminds me of the Euro Tunnel. Don't know why, it just does. Right, there's the 66, which means what I'm gonna do is quickly save it, just in case of like, you know, anything could happen in Train Sim World. Right, so this is it, moment of truth. Uh, oh, that thing is coming in quite fast. Maybe I need to speed up just a little bit, get up to maybe 90 kilometers per hour. See, I did say the, the 66 would speed up. So maybe speed up to uh, maybe 100 kilometers per hour, 95, 96. Although I think, um, 96 is the fastest it can go. Oh no, it is. It's still accelerating. It's still picking up speed. So let's let's get let's get to 100 kilometers per hour and then just leave it at, leave it at that. Maybe that's a good idea. Right, I think we're ready. Hook it up, big boy. Let's do this. No, let's let's hook it up. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna accelerate just a little bit more. Probably to 100 kilometers per hour. Here we go 99, 100. Oh, look at that. 100 kilometers per hour. We're like perfectly linked. That's perfect. But it is accelerating, so we need to hook this up and hook it up quick. Is this going to work? Here we go. Okay, we're ready. Let's see if, if it hooks up. Here we go. 
Oh, that was probably one of the most smoothest hookups I've ever done. But there you go, we hooked up, we've got it, we got it! It's like fishing, you know, you caught a big one. <laughs> right, now for the scary part. Uh, one all brakes on, uh, small injector off, loco brake on, train brake uh, maximum on, fire off, uh, dampers, um, dampers off, there we go. And maybe we could put the reverser in reverse, there we go. I want every ounce of stoppiness I've got. Although, this is actually stopping suspiciously quick. Um. Oh. Huh. That was easy. It was not much of a challenge, but, but you know, we did it. We, we stopped it. We, we hooked up very smoothly. Nothing derailed or no one got injured. Um, stopped relatively quickly. I don't know if this is a fail or a success, but we've done it. But it was, a, it was a bit... We stopped a bit too soon. Well, fancy that. Flying Scotsman is stronger than a Class 66. But which engine do you think is better? Flying Scotsman or the Class 66? Uh, leave your answer in the comment section down below, but I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is. Everyone's going to vote for Flying Scotsman because one, it's Flying Scotsman, and two, it's a steam engine. We all like steam engines, although I do like diesels as well. But I'm afraid that concludes this video for today, my friends. It wasn't very long, but like, you know, at least, it, at least we, we did it. It worked. We did an unstoppable and we saved the day. We saved the day today, everyone. But make sure you click that subscribe button. I want to say a big thank you of getting this channel up to 103,000 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description if you want to. And if you also want to buy some LazyJet merch, uh, I've got t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, the lot. Uh, it's on my website. Link in the description below. But thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.